Hi guys, it's Julie. Welcome or welcome back to my wonderful BC life. Today we have a mostly Dollar Tree haul with a couple of items from Walmart and one from Joann's down in the States that I bought online. I saw it in someone else's video and liked it so much that I just had to order one myself and so I did. We'll start off with Dollar Tree. The first thing is, if you uh, have been watching my videos, you know that I'm planning to do a snowman wreath similar to the one I've already done in the past. And I wasn't sure what type of uh, mesh I wanted to use, but I decided to go with the Crafters Square. And it's got like the little snowball effect on it. And I picked up 10 of those because I can't remember how many rolls it takes to do the wreath. So I thought, well, I better buy up all they had. So I did that and I got them half price for 75 cents a roll. So that was a good deal. So uh, anyway, like I say, those are for my wreath that I'm going to do. And while I was picking up half price items, I picked up these, this box of Christmas cards with the snowman on them. It's very nice. You probably can't pick, well, maybe you can pick it up. It's got like a, a glimmer and on the snow. And this one was only six cards, but they were only 75 cents. So I thought, well, that's good enough for me. So I got that one. And while I was at it, I bought two of this one. And this one comes with 12 Christmas cards. I don't know why the one only had six and the other one had 12, but that's the way it was. This one has Santa. And once again, I don't know if it picks it up or not, but there's a glimmer on the white on him. And like I say, that was 12 cards with the envelopes. And I bought two boxes for 75 cents a piece. Couldn't go wrong there. And what is, uh, oh yeah, this here is another 75 cent item. I haven't figured out what I'm going to do with this one yet. I just knew when I saw it that I liked it and uh, I decided to buy it. It says Merry Christmas. It's actual metal and of course it was half price for 75 cents and it's supposed to go around a small tree. Now I got small trees so I could put it around one of them and that might be what I end up doing with it. But in the meantime, I've got it so I'm sure I'll be using it somewhere. So I got that and I think that, oh no, that's not it. Wait a minute, there's one more thing that was on sale. They had, uh, and I didn't even see these before. I don't know if I just missed them or they just came in or what the story was. But they're the Christmas Laura Secord Milk Chocolate Candy Mini Eggs. And they were 50 cents on half price and I bought four bags of those. I figure if you're going to the movies or something, that'd be something you could uh, put in your purse or your pocket and take to the movies. For 50 cents, you couldn't go wrong there. So I think now, oh no, no, no. One more thing. One more thing that was half price. They had the little owls, and they're very fuzzy. I don't know how well you can pick that up, but they're very fuzzy and kind of cute. And I liked the white ones, and they were half price for 75 cents, and I got two of those for my Christmas trees. Okay, now I'm pretty sure I'm definitely done the half price stuff now. I did pick up some green confetti glitter glue for $1.50 for my crafting. And I picked up some Crafter Square Ultra Fine Glitter in the red. You can tell I've used some of it already. I was working on something. Still not sure if I'm happy with what I'm working on though. Oh well. Anyways, I got that for $1.50. And I wanted a container for the marshmallows that I bought last time for my drink station. And I was looking at the containers that had the lids at Dollar Tree. They had some more decorative ones that I liked, but they weren't very big. And I wanted a f one that was big enough to put the whole bag in. I didn't want to just put part of the bag in. So this was the one I ended up getting. 
was this size here. That's the full bag of mar mini marshmallows in there. And uh, it's got the lid like that. Like I say, I wanted a fancier one. And maybe so at some point they'll get a fancier one in. And if they do, I'll just buy another one and use this in my craft room. But anyway, nonetheless, it'll do the job for now for $1.50. And then I got... I don't know how good these work because I know people online use them all the time in their crafting videos and this is just one from Dollar Tree so I don't know if it will work as well as the ones they use but I've been wanting one of these for a while to cut my mesh and it's the craft this one's the crafter square roller cutter that you use to cut your mesh and it was $1.50 so like I say, I don't know if this is going to work as well as the ones those girls on the internet use. But I'm going to give it a try for that price. And if it doesn't work well, then I'll have to suck it up and buy a more expensive one. Okay. Now the next thing is for my... I have outside in my garden, I have a lighthouse. And I've got some gnomes out there in a little gnome house. And I actually did, I haven't shown this yet actually, maybe at some point I will. Uh, I have a little walkway that I made out of rocks that lead from the lighthouse to the little gnome house. Well anyway, I saw that these were in and I thought, oh that is so cute because where is a lighthouse? It's near the water. And so I saw these and thought, well there we go, we've got a, a big rock with a pretty little mermaid sitting on it. I thought I could put that out there. Maybe I need to get some blue rocks. You know where I'm going with this. Anyway, so I got her. And then here was another rock with the seahorse on it. And I got that. And then this rock has a great big octopus on it. You can see that, eh? Look at him. Actually, somebody just posted a video of somebody pulling a huge octopus out of the Alberni Inlet, which is off to, towards the west side of the island. Al Port Alberni's got to be at least halfway across. And they have this big inlet that comes through. And this person was fishing and pulled in a huge, absolutely huge octopus. So far, it, personally, I've only seen one octopus since we moved here, and it was actually, it had come up on the beach and it had died. But uh, they're in there, obviously, and some of them are humongous. So, having said that, and then I saw the little boats. You can sort of see it's got, you know, various different things in it there and I thought that would be cute out, out by my lighthouse and then they had this one as well which is a bit different and you can sort of get an idea of what that looks like I thought that would be great out there I'm gonna make it look really cute as it is it looks cute but it's gonna look even cuter with all this stuff out there so then I saw these and I thought well Pretty soon, my Christmas drink station stuff's going to be going away. And I thought, well, what about these? They had the Fuzzy Friends. And this one is a little drink. A little cup with a drink of some sort in it. And a little straw with a cherry on top. Not really a hot drink, although I suppose it could be. But anyway, I saw that and I thought that was cute. And then they had to go with that the little donut I thought that was cute too so I got the donut and the drink for my drink station for when the Christmas stuff gets taken away so then those darn gnomes they keep coming back <laughs> anyway I saw that they had their little uh, Valentine's gnomes in and I'm pretty sure I've already got some I'm pretty sure I do but anyways these ones were only a dollar fifty as most of this stuff is and they had this one with the little blue outfit and the red hat with the heart on it and then they had this one which has the brown outfit and the red hat with the heart on it 
And this one that has a gray outfit and a pink hat with the heart on it. And then they had this one, which has the red outfit with the pink hat and the heart on it. So I got four little Valentine's gnomes to decorate. I'm not sure where I'm putting them yet, but I'll be decorating with them somewhere. I, maybe the fireplace, I don't know yet. So that's it for Dollar Tree. And then now I've got two things from Walmart. I'll do them first. Now, you know, if you've been following my videos, you know about my kids' clothes corner in the, in the laundry room. Well, I just happened to go into Walmart when they had a lot of the things on half price. And I went over and saw this one rack that had kids' clothes in it. And I kind of wanted either like navy blue to go with the, uh, the top that the little girl is wearing in there now. I wanted either navy blue or just red. There wasn't anything that was just those colors. But I saw this and I thought, well, it'll probably do. It's a little pair of pants and they're the red and black check. And they were about the right size to go with what I've got in there. And this was only $2. I thought, that's not bad. I can I'll, I'll put up with it even though it's not exactly the color I wanted, but it's certainly closer than what's in there now, which is just plain black pants. At least that sort of looks Christmassy. So I went with that. And then I know that the downstairs bathroom, which is our guest bathroom, that it doesn't have a bath mat in it. And sometimes our son and his wife come over and they stay. And I thought they probably would like a bath mat to step out onto. And I wasn't really giving it that much thought. But then when I was looking at the Christmas items that were left over in Walmart, I happened to see these. And I thought, oh, well, they're not the biggest bath mats. I'm not sure what the measurement. Oops, I just dropped something on the floor. And does that show up? Yep, it does. Anyways, it's a little bath mat with the uh, old-fashioned truck with the Christmas tree in the back. And it was on sale for $7.49. So half price from what it was before. And I thought, well, that'll do for in there. I could even leave it in there all the time. I mean, it's Christmassy, but it's not that Christmassy for as often as the bathroom gets used. Because I was looking at the bath mats, and granted, they would have been bigger ones, but uh, I was looking at the prices of them and they were like $24.95, $27.95. And I thought for $7.49, I bought two of them. And that way they can put down both of them if they want to step further than the one will take them. But anyway, I thought that was a good deal for $7.49 at Walmart. Excellent deal. And the last thing, I watch a channel on YouTube uh, the Magnolia Housewife. She's a lady down in Florida who has, she does mostly haul videos, but she also does home decor videos and she does, uh, you know, different, sometimes crafting things. Anyway, she showed this item that she picked up at Joann's. And as soon as I saw it, I thought, that is so pretty. And I looked to see how much it was and it was 70% off and it was regular $70 and some odd cents, I forget the exact number, uh, in Canadian dollars. And of course it was 70% off of that. And it's this beautiful little sleigh shelf with the snowflakes on some of the uh, slats there and you've got the little hooks there that you could technically hang something on if you wanted to and I just thought that was absolutely adorable I really did I just couldn't say no to it so I ended up kind of buying myself a Christmas present <laughs> anyway so I like I say I thought that was adorable and it just so happens that one of those redone shower curtains that I got at uh, Dollarama for Christmas one of them has the the sleighs on it. 
So I will probably be putting that one, well right now it's in my bathroom which is up here, but I will probably switch it next year and put the uh, one with the sleighs downstairs because there's nothing on the wall down there. I can put this on the wall down there and uh, that would look really nice down there I think. So anyway, that is my haul today and uh, Anyways, it's uh, it did turn out to be not a bad haul, I thought. Got quite a bit of stuff, and I got some really good deals. There was no doubt about that. So anyway, I hope everybody enjoyed it. I hope everyone's staying healthy and happy. And until next time, bye-bye.